Hi there friends, Debbie with Debbie Gets Crafty and I just wanted to do a quick Timu haul. Uh, I just got this package in. Yes, I did open the package up because when it arrived, it arrived just after a rainstorm and it was dripping wet. So I wanted to make sure that the contents inside were okay and they were. So let's go ahead and get to it. I do have some diamond paintings in here and an accessory for diamond painting and a couple other bits and bobs. I figured I only had a few bits and bobs and I thought, you know, why not? I'd go ahead and, you know, share them with you. So let me just switch my glasses. There we go. And let's get started. So this first item that I have here is a cord holder. And what you'll do is you will go ahead and place this, take the sticky uh, adhesive, peel that adhesive and stick it on the side of a cabinet or a desk. And then what you can do is it will go ahead and you can fit your cords through there just like so. Well, this cord is a little too big. There we go. Just like so. It'll fit through and it can separate your cords and make sure that they're all neat. I already have one on the side of my desk and it really works well. So I figured why not? I'd get a second one. Maybe my you know husband might want it. If not, I do have plenty of cords that I need to keep neat. So, so that's what I got. Now all of the prices will be and all of the items will be listed in the description below. If you do not see a particular item, that means that that item is not available at this time. All right, so moving on. We'll set that aside. My next piece of uh, diamond painting accessories is a roll of stickers. Now, I did get in my last, I believe it was my last Timu haul, I got a package of round stickers to put on my kits. Sometimes I like to use the longer stickers, the um, rectangle stickers. This came in a roll of 2,000 and they are, it says here, two by one centimeters. Okay, so you get that roll again. If it is available, I will have the link down below. I'm not going to bother taking them out of the package because you all know what these stickers look like. And you get a nice roll. Okay, moving onward. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I am sporting a nice manicure. These are artificial nails that I put on and I did get them from Timu and they really are very pretty. I don't know if you can tell, but my little ring finger right here has a little daisy on it and they are pink and they're the perfect size. They're, I think they're called extra short. They really are the perfect size for me. Last weekend, I had a set on, the very first set that I had put on um, in many, many, many years, and they were just too long for me. I, I just felt uncomfortable. I ended up taking them off by the end of the day. I've had these on now for, this is the second full day that I've had them on, and they are holding up strong. Um, I you know, I keep pressing them down because that's just a habit that I have. This one is just a little tiny loose on the bottom portion here, so I may end up lifting that back off and re-adhering it to my to my thumbnail. But other than that, they've all been really good, lasting really well, and um, I'm looking forward to, you know, when I do take them off, putting them away, taking them off carefully, putting them away and saving them because I will want to use these again. So, and that being said, my next item is another set of nails. And these are a beautiful red nail. So let's go ahead and open this package up. Friends, I don't even think this cost a dollar, this set of nails. I don't think any of my nails, maybe, and I have quite a few sets now, but I don't think very many of them cost more than a dollar for the set. All right, let's see what we get in this set. There we go. All right, so in this set, 
we get, I believe it should be 24 nails. So you have a package of 24 nails that come in the set. I love that juicy red color. You also get your adhesive tabs. That's what you'll stick to your nail and that's what the nail will stick to. And of course you get your double-sided emery board. I just want to take a quick look at these while I have them out on my desk. Just a quick peek. I just want to see. They look like they're probably going to be the same length as the nails that I have on. And if they are, that's going to be perfect. Let's see. As a matter of fact, they are, and they are even just a little bit shorter, which is even better for me. I'm happy about that. So these are going to look really nice. I could see these being worn for a holiday party, anything really. I mean, I just, I love that color red. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm really getting into doing my nails now with the artificial nails. It's a lot of fun. They're really easy to do. And, you know, you don't have to worry about having them on and getting them done every two weeks and having to go through that expense. I can do my nails right in my own home by myself. I can do them all by myself. And I think they come out nice. And I don't have to spend all that money to get them done professionally. So we have those. And again, if they are available, I'll have the link below. Let's move on to a little bit of jewelry now. Let's see. I thought I had, I know I do. There it is. Okay. So we're going to go with this first one. And this is a bracelet. I have two bracelets that I got. And I didn't know it at the time, but they both have the same tree of life symbol, which I must be on this kick for tree of life. I did do a diamond painting from Timu. That was tree of life. So let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit. There we go. So this is a set, a multi-set of bracelets. So let's go ahead and they are on the elastic, which I like. So this way they will be one size fits all. Aren't they pretty? I know, you know, my husband makes jewelry. He makes some of the most pretty bracelets and necklaces, but sometimes I just, you know, nothing wrong with going with somebody, something different. Let me just go take you back out. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put these on. I'm going to put them all on. Why not? Right? That's the thing these days. You put, you know, the multi, oh, and this one has a little tassel on it. The multi-layered look is what's in. Isn't that cute? Isn't that really sweet? Uh-oh. Well, I can have my husband put that back on. That's not a problem. All right. Sometimes these things happen. But again, I can have my husband put that back on. I happen to know he's excellent at repairing jewelry, so... Not a problem. That doesn't bother me at all. And actually, that might even be a blessing to me because I can foresee that being a problem for my dog's photo. So that might have been a blessing in disguise, having that come off. But look at that, friends. Isn't that pretty? That's really... The scars aren't that pretty. Again, courtesy of Spoto. But the bracelet itself, the bracelets themselves, I should say, they're really pretty, and you can wear them individually or stacked, just like that. I think that's a really nice set of jewelry. So, and again, it was just something different. Like I said, I'm, yes, I'm very lucky that I have a husband who knows how to make beautiful jewelry. But sometimes, I just want to go with something a little different, and he knows that. He understands. As a matter of fact, I have many sets of jewelry that he has not made, and yet... He's actually bought them for me. So he enjoys seeing me in pretty jewelry by other people who who's made them just as much as he enjoys seeing me in jewelry that he's made me. So, and there we have that set of jewelry. Okay, moving forward, we're going to look at the next bracelet. 
And this is a little different, but it does have the Tree of Life on it. I was on a kick that day, I guess. This is a little bit different. I don't know if I'll be able to put this on myself. I'll try, but I'm not going to give it too much time if I can't. There we go. And this is almost like a leather cording type of bracelet. Not almost, it is, as a matter of fact. And it's got some really pretty, let's see here, that's how it goes. It's got some really pretty charms on it. It's got the Tree of Life. Let me go ahead and bring it in. It's just easier. I think it looks on the camera better. There we go. So we have the Tree of Life. And then we have a charm that says, where there is a will, there is a way. And then we have a leather cord that's braided. And then we have a charm that says, believe. And then there's a charm underneath that. That is the infinity sign. Isn't that pretty? And it's got an extender on the one end and a little lobster claw clasp on the other. It looks like metal, you know, a metal fastener to hold all of the cording. So let's go ahead and see if, if I can put this on. So let's take you back. There we go. And let's see. I doubt it because of my nails. And I'm not even going to take the chance. So this is one that I will have Todd help me with. But I do want to let you know that there is plenty of room. I have a pretty large wrist. But I have this, if you'll notice, I have plenty. You can't notice. This is just not working. But I do have plenty of room is what I'm going to tell you. I have plenty of room to clasp it. I have plenty of room to clasp it and have a little extra of the chain hanging down if I wanted. Or I can just have it clasped on the last ring of the chain and it'll just be a little looser on me, which is fine with me. I like that. I like having it a little looser. But isn't that really pretty? Again, it's that stacked layered look. And I just love the, the charms, you know, where it says where there's a will, there's a way and believe and you know with the tree of life and the infinity sign uh, I think you know it's a great thing it's it's a nice bracelet so I'm looking forward to wearing that as well so we have that moving onward this next item I have a vertical I don't know what it's called uh, it's a incense burner but the incense that you burn in it has a little hole on the bottom and the, the smoke that comes out literally cascades down this little brass I, I did a, a, an unbagging of it this little brass incense burner holder and I thought oh wow I'd love to see one that's got um, like multiple levels well this one is one that has multiple levels. You'll put your, you'll put your um, incense at the top and light it. And then as the incense burns, the smoke will trickle down through the hole and then trickle down off of this layer, cascade down to this second layer. And once it fills up that second layer, it'll cascade down and around to this layer right here. And it really is so pretty to see it when it's in action. I can try, I will try, uh, well, no, not today, um, because it might, with the air on, it might not blow this, it might not let the smoke naturally cascade down, it might blow the smoke away. So, but you can see, if you pull up the link to this particular product, I think that there is a video that they have, and it will show you the, the smoke cascading from the top to the second, to the third. So it really is pretty. So I got that. Just to have something different to, to burn my incense. And we will move onward. This is the last bit and bob before I go ahead with my three diamond paintings. And this, friends, now you all know. You know Debbie long enough to know 
This girl loves her cardinals. So, when I saw this, I had to have it. No questions asked. Just in the cart and to the checkout we head. This is a little stained glass, well, stained glass piece. And this is going to hang. I have just above my front door this half moon window. And this is going to be hanging in that half moon window. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. It's just, it's got the color on one side. The other side is, you know, fairly um, opaque. But this side, isn't that beautiful? So that is the side that we'll have showing out, outward. And you'll still be able to see the beautiful colors. I mean, look at that, that's not bad. So when we're in, ha in the house, as a matter of fact, let me just see something here because I'm almost thinking I am almost thinking, my friends, this might, it does. Friends, we lucked out. Look at this. You peel that protective paper back. Little ASMR. There we go. Isn't that stunning? Wow, that, look how shiny that is. My goodness. So that's the side that we'll have facing out. And then that side, which is just as pretty, we'll have facing in. Isn't that absolutely amazing? I can't wait to have my husband hang that up. That's gonna look perfect in that half moon window. So that is that. So I'll go ahead and just set that aside. All right, friends, now let's go ahead and show a few diamond paintings. I'll go from small, medium to large. Now, on the theme of our friend the Cardinal, of course, and the theme of stained glass, we picked up another picture. This one is a 20 by 30. And let me just grab my, there we go, there we are, my trusty little trowel. And here is your standard toolkit with the plate of wax, the boat, and the single placing pen. Perfect. Everything you need to do to put this painting together and make it look beautiful is right here. These are the colors. So we'll just go through real quick and take a quick peek. Some really pretty turquoise, blues, some grays, some pretty blue, deep blue. Of course, hello red, right there. Pretty red. And red's peppered throughout. So let's take a look, friends. This is a 20 by 30. Isn't that beautiful? I love these two cardinals. It has the legend on the top left, lower right, and each side has a thumbnail. It has 22 colors. It starts out from number one to number nine. So the first nine numbers are in order. And then from number 10 down to 22, it's in alphabetical order. Isn't that gorgeous? So let's go ahead and relax this canvas. There we go. And my friends, I have been such a bad hostess. I hope you're all having a good day. And I just want to say any chance I have to see my friends and visit with you all, well, that makes it a win in my, in my book. And I'm blessed. So we're just going to go ahead and put 
that down. And then we'll go over to the other side. Relax this side. And put that down as well. The paper is a bit crinkly itself. Okay, so the uh, cellophane is a bit crinkly, a bit uh, wrinkled. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to um, have this set flat, this cellophane to set flat. But you know, I happen to have, I actually happen to have one second. Okay. This, my friends, is a bag of bags. And I believe in my little bag of bags, this is, you know, whatever... I'm going to say this bag that this painting came in. And I'll put it in this bag just in case I need it for something. But I think I might have in my little bag of bags... Uh, is that it? Or is that? No, that's not it. Okay. Here it is. I happen to have a spare cellophane. I know it's a lot bigger, but what I'm going to do is, first of all, take a corner. Oh, the stick is good. And I'm just going to take a corner of this paper and stick to it. Okay, so this corner happens to, so this side happens to be the non side. <laughs> so I'm going to flip this over and this is the better side to put it, to put on it. And let's just go ahead and test it. There you go, comes off much easier. So friends, what I'm going to do, because this cellophane is so wrinkled, it will not make me happy until I change it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this cellophane right over it. I know it's big, and that's okay. So now I'm just gonna peel this back, take my trowel. Ho, 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 much better. Okay, take this side, peel it back, and the same. There we go. All right, friends, that's much better. Makes me much happier. I was not going to be satisfied until I had that straightened out. So, and then once I'm done with this painting, I'm going to take this cellophane and fold it up and put it away just in case I need it again. But this is the picture, 20 by 30. Absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna go ahead and take one more quick look at the drills. You really can't see them that well, but I'm not going to bother taking them out of the case because we all know what drills look like. And they've got some really beautiful colors to them. That red is every single thing to me. I love that blue. So that is our first diamond painting. Moving forward, my next size is a 35 by 35 and this is a very interesting little picture as well there we go I am starting to gravitate a little bit towards the feline <laughs> section of diamond painting let me pull you back so I'm starting like I said to gravitate a little bit more towards the kitty cats and um, sweet tea, uh, diamond painting with sweet tea. I don't blame you, but I will say that you help me, <laughs> you steer me in this direction. <laughs> but in my defense, this is also a stained glass look as well. So of course I had to have it. So let's go ahead, 35 by 35. It's really so pretty. I like these drills too, they're nice. You get your standard toolkit. Here's the drills. Just take a quick little drive by. There 
you go. Friends, take a look at this picture. <clears throat> Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Talk about gorgeous. Now, my husband and I had an orange tabby cat. His name was Ozzy. And Ozzy was the coolest tabby cat. He was just the best orange cat. <laughs> he beat out Garfield, I'll tell you that. Um, but he was so cool. And it reminded me of my Ozzy. So again, it's got that stained glass look that I love so much. Lots of color blocking with the dark in the, uh, in the middle and throughout the edges. And of course, that would be 310. You have a legend up top. And a legend on the bottom. There are 21 colors. There are symbols, numbers, and letters. The letters are both capital and lowercase. So that's interesting. Again, 35 by 35. The canvas number is listed on top, and the canvas number is also listed on the drills themselves. So that's awesome. The drills do not have a DMC code on them, but that's okay. The DMC code is listed on the legends. So let's go ahead and peel this back so we can relax this out. There we go. Come on. There we are. All right. Have a little bit of a dog ear here where the cellophane fold it up, but that's okay. It's not affecting the painting at all. So we'll go ahead and pull back this portion. It's not, not bad. Stick is not bad at all. And we'll go ahead right here. And you're going to notice over the next video or two I have more of the same coming uh, in the cat area. All right, so this is, my friends, my first that I saw. And uh, in the stained glass, I had to have it. Isn't that beautiful? So let's go ahead and look at the colors a little bit closer. Let's turn it right side out, or right side up. Here we go. Beautiful reds. Chocolate brown, the blues, that tabby cat orange. We have some brighter colors to accent as well. And then the darker colors there. Isn't that beautiful? Really looking forward to this. That's going to be a nice painting. So that's painting number two. And then friends, this is my last painting. And this one is a 40 by 40. Oh, friends, when I saw this one, oh, this spoke to my heart. Um, it's a beautiful painting. Can't wait to do it. Uh, again, stained glass motif, of course. And... This is a, a little bit different though. Let me just, uh, thank you. And when I saw it, I just, I had to have it. And it's really pretty. All right, friends. So again, 40 by 40. It is the stained glass motif. Here are your drills beautiful vibrant colors of the drills and we'll take a look at closer look at those in a minute our toolkit standard toolkit here we go friends isn't that gorgeous friends this spoke to my heart this spoke to my soul I had to have it and as soon as I saw it I actually saw it, I, I was scrolling one day through Timu, of course, saw the picture, flipped out over it, put it in my cart, 
but then it got a few other things and said, hey, I'll wait, you know, on it. Ended up going out of stock. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it came back into stock. And as soon as it came back into stock, I put it back in my cart and away we went to the checkout. I was not going to let this pass up a second time. It is absolutely gorgeous. So let's go ahead and relax this canvas. And it does have the legend up on the upper left and lower right. It has 24 colors to it. The legend has the alphabet, but it is not in alphabetical order. Okay. There are DMC codes on it. There are no DMC codes on the drills themselves, though. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead. Nice, thick cellophane. That'll be a keeper for sure. And friends, look at the glow. Look at how thick that... Ooh, I almost dropped my trowel. Mm -mm -mm. Look at how thick and glossy that glue is. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's a nice, thick coating of glue for sure so we're going to go ahead and the stick I'm telling you folks is great on this one all right so we are going ahead I'm just flattening this side out there we go perfect now I don't know if you noticed but when I first took it out of the packaging there was a little bit of a crinkling wrinkling going on here here and here but it has since relaxed a little bit isn't that I could just sit here and look at this painting all day long I cannot I can't wait to start this one I don't know when I'm going to get to it but I can't wait to do it and it's got a good fair amount of color blocking on it Believe it or not, it's not all color blocking. There is some shading going on, so there is some confetti here and there, but there is a good fair bit of color blocking for sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at these drills. I mean, the vibrant colors on them. It makes me, it, honestly, when I look at that picture, it makes me think I'm in a church. Aren't they beautiful colors? The greens. And the pinks and reds and the cream colors beautiful vibrant yellow that corn on the cob yellow that ice green color that icy blue green color and that red deep rust red so those are our colors one more time, folks, just to see this gorgeous piece of art. Isn't that beautiful? It makes me think of a country church. I love it. So, this is my 40 by 40. And then I have my picture of my little cat, Ozzy. And he's 35 by 35. And then we have our little cardinal friends in stained glass, 20 by 30. We have our two necklaces, I'm sorry, bracelets, I apologize. We have a set of nails. We also have our beautiful stained glass cardinal and we have our incense burner that I put back we also have our 2000 I don't think I'll need any for a while our 2000 rectangular 
stickers. And we started our haul today with our multi plug spacer holder sticks to your desk or wherever you want it to be organizer, which is really very useful, very handy. And folks, I believe that is it for this haul. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for your support, continued support. If you've not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. And uh, I want to thank you all so much. Please remember, like, uh, hit that like button. Please send me a comment, say hello, and I'll say hello back. Subscribe to my channel, share the video, and tell your friends and family about it uh, if you like what you see here. Until we see each other again, my friends, I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Please take care of yourselves, watch out for your friends, your family, and all of those animals out there. Be their voice because they don't have one. And when I see you again, it'll be with a full heart. Thanks so much for joining. Bye now.